Meet Woody Norris, self-educated inventor, entrepreneur, and visionary. Here in San Diego, at his American Technology Corporation, Norris is refining his latest invention, hypersonic sound, an innovation he feels will literally turn the world on its ear. So now let me play you a little sample of a sound I actually recorded in my backyard. Waterfall. This may look like a normal loudspeaker, but watch what happens when Norris turns it even slightly off axis. So I got focusing on that uh, several years back and I thought, there ought to be a way, if you're looking for the ultimate loudspeaker, to just make sound in the air. PC board. And that's okay. just what he did. Hypersonic sound works by emitting two highly directional ultrasonic signals at frequencies too high for humans to hear. As these signals mix in the air, however, a column of audible sound is created. Norris envisions using his invention for everything from surround sound units to museum displays. You stand in front of the display and you hear that message and go to the next display and you hear that message. Car dealers are interested in it, supermarkets are interested in it, for people standing in line. So look at all those applications where we don't even have the option to use loudspeakers right now because they emanate everywhere. Success didn't always follow Norris. Growing up, his family was so poor that their house had no indoor plumbing until he'd graduated high school. We never owned a television set. We had a radio, which, by the way, I promptly destroyed <laughs> right after that Christmas, trying to figure out what made it go. A stint in the Air Force provided Norris with his only formal electronics training. Norris had found his calling. Once you're bitten by the inventor bug, you're an inventor. A wide range of inventions soon followed. And then, at a meeting in the mid-1980s with NASA, engineers there complained that the earpiece microphone units astronauts wore in their spacesuits caused feedback. And here's what inventors do, and I heard myself say these words. I said, oh, I can solve that problem. I'll just pick up the sound through the bones in your head, which I did. And uh, it evolved into the Jabra headphone, which is a way of talking and listening without that ubiquitous boom mic. It is now the best-selling cell phone headset in the world. These days at his San Diego workshop, Norris is testing another new invention, the Air Scooter, an ultralight helicopter that anyone can learn to fly in a day. We were deliberately trying to think of the next thing to do. So I said, all right, let's dream up a flying machine. I didn't want all those collectives and cyclics and the sticks and the foot pedals. I wanted a guy in a wheelchair to be able to fly this. Don't need your feet. So we went to a handlebar. Push it forward, you go forward. Pull it backwards, you go backwards. Want to go in a circle? Rotate it. Then there are projects for the military, like the LRAD, a long-distance audio warning system that Norris helped develop. What this does is it allows you to scale what your response is in any circumstance so that it can use very loud sounds to hail an individual who might be half a mile away. Norris continues to work on a slew of new inventions, which he insists are even more unusual than hypersonic sound. One of them relates to gravity. One of them relates to hydrogen for fuel. A couple of them are pretty bizarre communication things. Always the optimist, Norris sees a wide open landscape for innovation that he predicts will result in a myriad of new technologies whole new fields that are each going to bring tens of thousands of revolutionary inventions are opening. And I'm just so glad I'm alive to see it and maybe make a teeny little contribution. So when I'm all dead and gone, they'll say, oh, that guy, he did a couple things. That would be cool. <laughs>